guys, does this tie-dye chippy, hippy, below up rented lifts, hippy chair make me look skinny? Well, objects are narrower than they appear. Welcome to a special Labor Day weekend version of whatever this is. I'm in Indio, California, cultural capital world in a place called Repair Land. I ran across this guy on Instagram. You really, really want to do that. His stuff is a lot like mine, but his stuff involves like a formal education. And so you're gonna like it. I don't tell you about other people. I don't like people much. And people don't like me either. But you know how much that saves me at Christmas? Anyway, we're gonna go visit this guy. And then I'm gonna go down to Mecca Ranch where the episode, Who is Palmero? Click right up there at the end of the video. You're not gonna to wanna to miss this. Anyway, let's get in the car and go to repair land in um, Indio, California again, cultural capital world, right next to Coachella Valley. Coachella, culture capital world, and Thermal, the hottest place next to hell. And then out there at Mecca. And uh, yeah, you smarty pants, you're like, oh, I already trolled this guy, Jace, from Repairland in Indio, California, and you're at shop already. Anyway, go find something to do. Get a job with all that smartness stuff you got. So let's go, let's go see Jace now. I drive, oh, look at this. Hey, rock in my pocket, these are your peeps. Shh, be quiet, we're filming now. Um, here we are. I'm at Repair Land. Yeah, this is the guy I was telling you about. Repair Land, cultural capital of the world, Indio, California. So here's the deal. We're gonna go into Repair Land here and we're gonna see if this dude, what he'll do with the number 12 junk pile. He doesn't know what it is. Let's look in here. Um, Fortunately, we sneak in here. Don't make no noise. That alarm, they need to disable that alarm. Okay, let's look at the menu. Oh, check this guy out. He's got a George Washington doll too. I don't know, you're saying that's Hamilton or something. I don't care, just listen to me. You'll be better if you do what I say. You know that. Okay, so basic services. The necromancer, I'm an old man. I don't even know what that means. I'm lucky I could say it, the magic touch. Oh, that sounds expensive. I wonder if Siegfried and Roy would buy that one. Okay, the regular tune-up, <laughs> the minor repair. I don't think he'll go for the minor repair. He certainly won't be happy with that. Okay, let me get the guitar case out and set it up. I am not, does he have any Bajo Quinto? Remember, because I'm working on one of those right now. You can see the playlist right up there right now. Nice inventory gumballs. <laughs> What does that say? Sell me a crappy guitar. Okay, I think we're at home here. All right, let me, I think I was conceived on some of this stuff. This is awesome, cool. Okay, let me go get the guy. Oh, welcome to your repair tent. Hey there. How can I help you today? Um, I was kind of looking at your menu online. Okay. I think this guitar needs some minor work. Okay. Um, well, and, let's, check it out. let's check it out. Um, I'm just kind of interested in keeping, uh, how much is the uh, the regular, regular tune-up? So it's usually 45 bucks. No. Okay, I think I think we're kind of there, so. Um, just, I, if you would, I, I don't need you to tell me how to fix it or anything, but if you could tell me how to fix it without charging me anything <laughs> yes. to do that, that would be really cool, but. Do you like how it plays now? Are you having any? I don't, I don't play guitar. And um, to be honest with you, I really am, am not, um, I don't want to talk much about how I got it or anything, so okay. if we could kind of keep it like that. Good. You know what, I, I, I almost forgot something here. Um, hi, meet Chick Flick Tito Pointer. <laughs> Perfect. Um, yeah, if you want to use Chick Flick Teal Pointer to point out what's what you're seeing here, that would be pretty cool. Yeah, pretty interesting technique up here uh, to get the neck joint a fixed down. So, I mean, that's one way. 
to do it. I don't know if this is how I would perform that repair. And then this head, we've got headstock repair up here. This is a new one as well. Um, it might work, but uh, you know, I I could probably take these out and make that disappear and still have it as functional. The stickers, are these a personal uh, preference? you want to keep these on here? you want to get this cleaned up? What are you looking to do? I mean, I still think we're like still substantially under the $45. <laughs> um, you I don't know about substantially. I mean, I guess it depends on what your goals are. Um, if you want to get it to play. Have you ever seen one of these new? Um, well, it's hard to compare it to anything with all the uh, decorations on the front. Um, you know, I've seen a lot of K's, but it's hard to tell exactly what this is. Um, I mean, the, the finish touch-up, what do you think about that? The finish touch-up, I don't know if you're going to come in under $45 with that, um, if you want it to look new. But if you just want to get it cleaned up and stuff, I don't mind cleaning it up for you. Um, but the, I feel like this this is part of the guitar, this tape here, and this could even be holding it together. So uh, maybe we don't want to touch the tape and the stickers and just kind of get some of this gunk off. Um, we've got a bead up here too. It's like when you ride a bike and uh, your spokes are, does that make it sound like a motorcycle? I like that. Yeah, $45, I mean, it could get you some new strings and shine up these frets, get some of the cleaning up, but as far as getting it to look like new, I think that's gonna take a little bit more uh, out of the budget. I wouldn't even know where to price something like this. Uh, I'd really have to kind of go by the hour. To remove all this. And is this signature important to you? Um, uh, I think so, but you know, if it clashes with that brand uh -huh. new look you're looking for, yeah. that you know, I, I like I said, I don't want to put a bunch of work on you that's going to take it anywhere near forty-five. Okay. <laughs> okay. So let's let's do it this way. Let's say that you had to. I told you that I wanted this thing to look brand new. You mentioned hourly, so I'm thinking maybe the regular touch up would, I don't know, maybe that's five or six hours worth of work. But, <laughs> but um, I mean, what would it cost if you made this thing look brand new? How many hours are we talking about? The whole thing, headstock, tuners, stickers, pickups. Um, it's hard to say in the condition it's in now because I gotta see what's under all this these bandages um, but I'd have to take the neck off I'd have to remove all this redo this redo the neck joint uh, probably clean up these holes uh, is that is that pick up or that place where you plug the cord in, is that stock? I don't think so. I think this, I mean, if you wanted to go back to stock, uh, I wouldn't even know where to begin. You've probably got multiple holes down here. Yeah, I'd say you're looking at about 10 hours of work to get this back, maybe more. So, um, so money wise, so we're kind of above the regular tune up. So, <laughs> yeah. kind of just roughly, what what is it that we're talking about? Maybe about fifteen hundred dollars to fix this to get it. Wow. Uh, so, okay, so we're not really talking about the regular tune up here, right? Yeah, I think we're beyond the regular <laughs> tune up at this point. Uh, Again, I'd have to really uh, take it apart and dig in to tell exactly how long. It could take even longer uh, to bring this back, but it's possible. Just, it'd take a lot of work. So if I left it today, 
<laughs> Do you think you could have it done tomorrow? <laughs> no, no, I don't. I think uh, a lot of these joints would have to dry overnight and all that. You know. I mean, I've done some pretty crazy overnight repairs, but this one will probably extend even my uh, my speed. All right, so yeah. And you're basically telling me you're going to get inside this thing. You're probably going to find something else. I might be up two grand or something on this thing. So, listen, be honest with me. If if you were me, what would you do, Jace? Um, I'd probably bring it to someone else. I think that probably the uh, the right move um, for the uh, the shape this guitar is in in my shop. I don't think. Uh, with my minimums that I could come in at a price that would be worth it for you um, to get this repaired. So I suggest maybe bringing it to someone else uh, who could fit in your Guys, price guys, price. guys, guys. <laughs> Was that not the most, let me see here. Was that not the most politically correct way to throw me out of the shop? <laughs> guys, look. This was a whole setup. Jace did not see the guitar. <laughs> I swear, swear. I didn't never sign the cross. Before, all that. Yeah, I, I don't have my, my my cross with me today. But he didn't see. This is Troy Murray's guitar. This is guitar twelve. You knew it because in the background, that's restaurant playing in the background. So I actually traded a guitar exactly like this one that looked brand new. <laughs> for this guitar. For this guitar. Yeah. Okay. So, guys, let's close this out here in the shop. I'll get you in a minute so we can talk about everybody behind their back when it's just you and me. <laughs> but, this guy, Jace, does repairs. He's got stuff. Did you see that uh, Maxo Chime that I showed the other day on my Instagram? Well, he's got a... a uh, the violin version of it back there. Yeah. He's got potato bug mandolins. I, I'm looking at, sometimes I think he's been in my house, but he's got the same kind of stuff. I got a lot of stuff. Yeah. If you are anywhere around Indio or New Jersey or whatever, get in your car, bring your stuff to this guy because he's like, I don't want to say he's better than me. <laughs> I'll need That's therapy on that, but yeah, guys, the stuff he does is amazing. Sounds pretty good. Here we go. Yeah, not much of a slide. Yeah, you remember 65, 55 value leader double pickups. Yeah, click up there, easy come, easy go. And I actually traded one that looked brand new for this thing. But this thing is awesome. And um, yeah, Jace is a good sport, but he's got fair pricing. He's got instruments in here that are ready to fix that involve some heavy duty repairs. I don't know how he is able to work on all these different things. I've seen some up to stuff like shows up in my shop. But anyway, um, I'm in Malibu one day acting nonstop action, acting California culture capital world the next day. And this has taken me back being here and around here 30 years when I used to be the dude that moved palm trees off the volcano at the Mirage. So yeah, up to happens here, people. Check Jace out, check out his website, and I'm gonna give you a link below to his Instagram channel. You are going to laugh. Uh, but if you find yourself thinking his stuff is more uh, interesting than mine, then I want you to unfollow him immediately because I really, really depend on that $22.33 I make a month off of YouTube. So hey, 
I will see you soon and I am sure glad you got to see me today.